Hi, I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. I'd like to take a few minutes to direct your attention to some parts of the exhaust system that maybe don't jump out at you right away when you think exhaust. This isn't the pipe that runs from the motor to the tailpipe. Okay, these are the exhaust components that are critical right off the engine up to the turbocharger and then from the turbocharger down to the exhaust system. Starting off with the exhaust manifold. Okay, this piece bolts to the head and takes the hot exhaust right off the head to the up pipe. The factory unit is a major compromise and you can see that here how it's stress relieved on the steering shaft. We have major flow restrictions there. The unit's just simply not designed to flow well. The upgrade to that is this cast flow exhaust manifold. Nice transitions, nice bends, big thick flanges so we don't have leaks and then brings that three bolt flange out from the head a little bit to allow us a better radius up to the turbocharger. Piece comes pre-drilled for exhaust pyro so you don't have to tap that either. It's got a nice big bung so you don't have to worry about cracking. After exhaust comes out of this flange and goes up to the turbocharger, it's going to make its way there via the up pipe. This is the factory up pipe. Not a bad piece, but just not designed to flow. You can see where it's been crimped here. You can see how the radiuses are very short on the transitions. And then the factory bellows. Not an ideal piece, especially in a high horsepower application. Uh, this bellows has a tendency to crack and leak exhaust. You might sound like a squirrel under your hood. You smell exhaust fumes. It's just not a good situation. Our upgrade there is a stainless up pipe. Nice smooth transitions out of the exhaust manifold and into the turbocharger. Big heavy duty bellows, better than stock. Again, stainless. This piece is not going to leak. It's not going to deform. It's got factory style flanges, so you know it's OEM quality as far as exhaust sealing. Finally, we have the downpipe, and this is the piece that takes the exhaust from the turbocharger down to your, down to your exhaust system, your 4 inch or 5 inch exhaust. This is your factory downpipe. You can see how it's been crimped for firewall clearance, and it's got a really quick transition out of the turbocharger, quick radius. Again, not designed for ideal flow, and it's going to be a hindrance to you as you go past that 500 rear wheel horsepower mark. Anytime you have pressure in the exhaust system, it invites heat, so EGTs are going to rise. What we like to do is go to a full 3 inch downpipe. It's a little bit of a compromise on the clearance. Things are a little bit tighter. We heat wrap it, make sure you don't have any issues on the firewall, and uh, this piece will lower EGTs considerably. It's not an easy bolt in, but it's worth it. The benefit of having all these pieces on the truck is that EGTs go down, spool up goes up, the truck is much crisper, nicer to drive, and it also has a throatier tone to it. Um, especially in situations where you have twin kits or turbochargers that are operating at high pressure and high drive pressure, it's important to have these high quality exhaust pieces in the exhaust so that you don't have leaks and you can get that flow quick to the turbochargers. I'm Nick, thanks for watching.